What have I built? I have built a perpetual motion machine that, if properly maintained, has the potential to run indefinitely. It has zero pollution output and can be modified with 60 hertz generators for homes and 120 hertz generators for hospitals, schools, malls, even something such as large as the military and the Pentagon. It's self sustaining. It can be put underground so it has no access to harsh weather, uh, as in lightning, storms, snow, uh, ice. If you live up north and you've got 150,000 people out of electricity, well, this will eliminate that completely because it can be put in a building the size of a storage building out back of your house and the conduit run underground, so therefore, no matter how much ice can ice on your house, uh, 10 feet, but you'll still have electricity and you'll still have heat and you'll still have food and you just simply will not be without as far as electricity goes. It'll, it'll end pollution on a global scale. The copper smelting plants, the acid burning plants, the methanol plants, and especially the coal burning plants pump out millions of tons of toxins per year that not only um, pollute the air, that pollute the waters and uh, our crops, our, our land, which pump poison into our children, as well as our livestock and everything else we consume. This machine has the potential to stop all pollution in the ozone layer, all the chemicals that are pumped out into the air, the glaciers that are melting in record time. This will change the way that everybody across the entire globe views electricity or the source of that electricity. This design will not only um, fit into your home, this size of a prototype can actually fit in a battery operated car to go from North Carolina to California and back with a full charge all the way there and back and at the end of that journey while you run every single thing there is in that car. With the 60 hertz generator design, you can put it on a home where you can run your AC, your heat, and every light in your house seven days a week, daylight to dark, and never pay one penny of electricity to any company because you own your own. You don't ever have to pay anything to anybody else ever again. This will eliminate all that, period. Well, I've had this idea for about 20 to 22 years, and I kept doing a little research here and there, and I got to thinking about how I would put it together, wired up, if it could be possible. Now, I've seen at a friend of mine's house a, not a perpetual motion machine, but a machine that is home built but still powers his house and he's not been hooked up to KUV for about 10, 15 years. And I took that design together with a design that I seen in Popular Science Magazine which is powered by a windmill with 60 hertz generators and backup batteries. I combined the two and took the gasoline motor and the windmill out of the equation and made it to where it is self-sustaining, meaning one thing runs the other. but it doesn't pull the power from it, so therefore it cannot be ever pulled down. It'll run indefinitely as long as it's the design itself is intact. You, can, you cannot take a circular current of power, whether it be AC or DC, and plug in anything to it because eventually it'll wear down, it'll wear out, and eventually it will stop. That's why that if you try to plug into an AC current, say a wall plug or whatever, and plug two or three things in, eventually it's gonna pull much power out of it, it's just gonna slow down, that's it. This machine is two machines in one. Uh, it's the only way it works. I designed the wiring harness that way. There's nothing you can add to it, nothing you can take away from it. It only works one way and one way only. They run together intertwined uh, by a specific piece in the machine. And that's the only way they're connected. But the combination of both of them makes them run indefinitely. The next step is to have an investor come in to build a larger prototype that can actually power a home. 
And once this prototype is built and works, then it can power anything on Earth at that point. It can be modified with 160 Hertz generators after that for larger uh, things such as skyscrapers. Uh, you can convert a military tank to electricity and this would run it. As long as you keep it in an environmentally controlled atmosphere, uh, it, can, it has the potential to run forever. It has the potential to um, never be touched again, uh, but then again, it's electrical, and all electrical things break down one time or another. It may run for 500 years, it may run for 5,000 years, if it's properly maintained. So I guess I would say to the skeptics, I guess that at this point you're just going to have to <coughs> sit back and be skeptical because once this does go uh, into the public on a um, consumer scale, once that it does it, your skepticism will be gone. Until then, I believe that you probably don't believe that it can happen because it's never happened before. It's never happened, uh, there's 10 million people out there trying to make a perpetual motion machine and they've done it with magnets and this, that, and another. But this design is one of a kind. This design does not exist in the world today. This design is not in the U.S. Patent Office in Washington. So as far as the skeptics go, I suppose I'm just going to have to show you.